Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my full series review of Let's Dance a Waltz by Natsumi Ando. This is a older Kodansha release, a uh, three volume shoujo series about ballroom dance. Um, our main character is this girl here, her name is Hime, which means princess. Uh, she goes to school with this other boy, most popular boy in school is named Tango. Uh, his mother owns a ballroom dance studio, and he has been ballroom dancing since he was a kid, but he keeps it a secret because he thinks it's that others will think it's lame. Uh, Hime comes across the studio, dances once, and immediately is in love. She's a bit of a she's a bit of a chubbier girl. She has very little self-confidence. She always dreamed of being a princess as a kid, but as she got older, she realized that she just wasn't not cut out to be a princess in her mind. Um, and, but when she ballroom danced, she felt for the first time in her life that she she was a princess. She was being treated like a princess by a prince. And so she desperately wants to dance with Tango. She wants to be his partner, his destined partner, because uh, he currently, he hasn't been dancing in a long time professionally. Um, and so she wants to bring him back into that world and be his destined partner in dance um, and life. And so we also meet the two kind of champions of their age group, um, Tango's childhood friends who are partnered together and really good at what they're doing. Um, and it's just a really quick short story about Hime kind of joining the world of ballroom dance, getting involved with competitions, and bringing Tango out of his funk that he's been in for years, bringing him back into competitions, and them trying to succeed together. Um, yeah, short and sweet. It's honestly not fantastic. Um, I, out of the three ballroom dance series I own, this is definitely my least favorite. It's very fluffy, very rushed, because it's only three volumes, unfortunately. Um, and, I mean, I just found the characters to be very, like, surface level. Um, very, I, like, they just didn't have much depth to them. Um, I don't know. And, and... I don't know what it was, because I've read other three-volume shoujo series where I just was, like, captivated more. I just, I found them kind of annoying, almost, unfortunately. I found her, like, she's so childish for some reason. And I'm pretty sure they're middle school students, but, like, she just felt overly childish. And maybe I'm just too old to be reading this. I don't know. Um, I liked this guy. The the childhood friend dude, and actually I quite liked her as well. Um, I just found Tango to be an annoying twit, and she was just overly childish. Um, but I I still enjoyed it. It just was really short and kind of rushed. Um, everything was so like idealistic of like, oh, she danced for the first time and she's great at it. Oh, we're now in a competition and she's succeeding really well. Um, it just didn't give you enough time to really grow these characters and grow as dancers, which obviously the other series that I'm reading, uh, Welcome to the Ballroom and uh, Ten Dance, are longer series and they have more time to develop them. Um, whereas this one just doesn't have that amount of time. But it's not a bad series. It's a shorter one. It's also an older Kodansha title with a much smaller price point than they are currently. Canada, these are $11.99. Kodansha titles in this size now, which they hardly ever release anymore anyway. They always do the oversized format now anyway. Um, these are now like $14.99. So, um, you know, it is cheaper to pick up than a more current title. Uh, I'm not sad that I picked it up. I'm not sad that I own it. I... I did enjoy it for what it was, but for the most part, I just feel like I maybe it's a bit of a younger read, I think, and that doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. I know that Shay over at Shay Geeks Out really loves it because she really, really loves fluffy, cute, adorable series, and it's not that I don't. Um, I just, maybe I wasn't in the mood for it when I did read it. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I... I do enjoy 
messier series and maybe this one was just too sickly sweet for me uh which is unfortunate but if you're looking for a cute ballroom dance series or you just like ballroom dance in general this is a cute little homage to it um with some cute art and adorable little characters but yeah i just it didn't have enough time i think if it could have fleshed out these characters and their passion for dance and their their trials and tribulations more um, I think it could have been better. I will say the fashion is quite nice. I like the dresses. I think they're beautifully drawn and I think what the dancing sequences are not overly action based like they are in like Welcome to the Ballroom and Ten Dance where they're like really sweaty and gross. This is very much like we're beautiful, we're gorgeous, we're spinning and we're opulent and we're you know whatever. Um, it's very uh, like prim and proper sort of art that doesn't look like they're overly exerting themselves. <laughs> It's a very idealistic um, version of ballroom dance, um, but it does give you enough of the definitions of what kind of dances they're doing and what things mean, and it's a nice little intro. I think I would have enjoyed this more if I hadn't read Ten Dance and Welcome to the Ballroom first, honestly. If I had picked this up years ago when it first came out, I think it would have been a nice introduction to the ballroom dance manga uh, genre, I guess. Um, but... Yeah, in comparison to the other two, I just didn't like it as much, and I think I spent the entire time I was reading it comparing it to those two. So if you can compartmentalize your brain, um, clearly unlike I can, um, then maybe you'll get more enjoyment out of it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, you know, if this sounds interesting to you, you will pick it up, but, you know, if you're tastes seem to more align with mine then maybe maybe skip this one um yeah if you've read this i would love to hear your thoughts on it uh regardless of if you liked it or disliked it um and i know natsume ando ha natsume ando has other series out so if you've read those let me know your thoughts because the name is a very familiar name to me um but i don't believe i own or have read anything else by her um i just know of other titles so let me know if you've read anything else uh, that you enjoy by Natsumi Ando. Anyway, thanks for watching.